Today I'm sharing must-read books that will help new software engineers succeed in the tech industry. These books have been game changers for me and countless other engineers providing insights, practical advice and that extra edge you need to succeed. And I have full confidence that these books can fast track your career and really make a positive impact in your work performance. So I'll be splitting the books into three categories, the first one being software engineering principles, the second one being productivity and the third one being general soft skills. I split them into these categories because you need much more than just computer science principles and that deep understanding to actually succeed in the tech industry. And the books I'm going to recommend on time management and negotiation, for example, are really powerful and will add to your skill set. And I'll also share some of my favorite quotes from each of the books and even sprinkle a few bonus books along the way. Hola amigos, I'm Diego, a software engineer working in London. And if you're interested in reclaiming your time from digital distractions and leveling up at work, make sure you subscribe and join the team. Let's do it. So in this section, I'm going to be sharing books on software engineering principles and general career advice, because I think it is much better to learn the technical side of software engineering, that really difficult technical side online, instead of by reading books. The resources online are plentiful, they're up to date, they're interactive, they're much more fun than just going through exercises in a book. So I thought recommending books that actually contain timeless coding principles and general advice from the most esteemed programmers in the industry would be a much better use of our time. And the first book, I want to recommend is The Pragmatic Programmer by David Thomas and Andrew Hunt. And this book is one of the classics in computer science and it's been very well reviewed for years and years and years. I think recently they just released their 20th anniversary edition and it's jam packed with new content as well. And in general, the book provides technical and professional advice for modern developers and it goes through a variety of topics and teaches you those timeless principles that can improve your performance within the tech industry. So some of these topics range between code quality, best practice, Practices, how to automate those boring repetitive tasks that a software engineer has to do every day, how to be more productive in general, how to embrace personal responsibility and take ownership of your code so that everybody else in your team is happy and the team performance is as effective as possible, and the best way to continually adapt and learn new technologies. All of these topics are incredibly important for the modern developer, and even though this book was mostly written around 20 years ago, the principles still apply and they will be incredibly useful for your career. And now I wanted to share some of my favorite quotes from the book. I'm going to share two. The first one says, the greatest of all weaknesses is the fear of appearing weak. Don't be a slave to history. Don't let existing code dictate future code and all code can be replaced if it is no longer appropriate. Just a beautiful way of showing kind of the philosophy behind coding. And the second quote is very short. Clean code doesn't age. That focus on quality, that focus on simplicity, on efficiency, that is what we should be striving for in our careers. Now, the second book I want to recommend is Clean Code by Uncle Bob Martin. And it is one of the greatest software development books ever written. And it's aimed at teaching developers how to write clean code. I used to read this book almost every day when I was in my coding bootcamp. Whenever we had a little bit of free time, I would open, flip through some pages and the teachings in there are truly, truly invaluable. Because writing code is as much an art as it is a science and the ability to write clean code will not only be great for you, but also great for anybody who comes in contact with that code, be it your team or someone in the future who has to go and review the particular code you wrote. And this book specifically teaches you how to make your code as clean, efficient and maintainable as possible so that in the future, your code can truly stand the test of time. And it delves into really interesting topics like refactoring, meaningful naming of variables, for example, adequate error handling and testing principles that will take your clean code game to the next level. So if your code is a bit of a mess and full of unnecessary comments and your variable naming is terrible and you just feel like your code could do with a little more efficiency and a little more simplicity, make sure you read this book because to me, I mean, it's helped me incredibly. I used to write terrible code and slowly it's getting a lot better because of a lot of the principles that I applied from this book specifically. And now I wanted to share two quotes from this book that really, really impacted me and I took away from it. The first one is, it is not enough for code to work. The focus of this book is to teach you. It's it again, it's more of an art than a science sometimes, and it has to be clean, beautiful, maintainable, sustainable. And that's what you should really should be going for. And the second quote is, is very intense. It's quite harsh. It goes like this. What would happen if you allowed a bug to slip through a module and it cost your company $10,000? The non-professional would shrug his shoulders, say stuff happens and start writing the next module. The professional would write the company a check for $10,000. This is all about taking personal personal responsibility of your code and understanding how making an unnecessary mistake because your code was not clean or not efficient can really make an impact on your team and your entire company. 
So take ownership and learn to write clean code. The third book I would recommend is Modern Software Engineering by David Farley. This book focuses on building great software and teaching developers the most up-to-date best practices in the industry, including continuous delivery, hexagonal architecture, and even test-driven development, and how to integrate these into a framework that you can apply in your day-to-day. -day. Farley even writes about the history of software development, which is really, really interesting, and also some of the big ideas that have made the biggest impacts in the industry. In the book, you'll learn things like Agile, and lean methodologies, which is the preferred way of working for a lot of software development companies. You'll also learn about test-driven development, which is essentially the most robust way to build code from scratch. You'll learn all about scalability, performance of code, automated testing, and even communication and collaboration within software development teams, which, which is crucial to create a successful product. So in this book, you will not only learn technical principles that are absolutely timeless, but also more interpersonal skills that will boost your performance within any software development team. And I wanted to leave you with this quote. TDD, or test-driven development, applies pressure to create code that is objectively higher quality. This is irrespective of the talent or experience of the software developer. It doesn't make bad software developers great, but it does make bad software developers better and great software developers greater. Beautiful way to understand TDD. And as a bonus, I wanted to leave you with the 100-page machine learning book by Andrey Burkov. With AI and machine learning being all the rage nowadays, I wanted to leave you this bonus book as a quick intro to machine learning so that when the machines finally take over, at least you'll know what the hell happened. Now for the productivity section, I wanted to recommend one of the most important books that has changed my perspective on productivity in general, and that is Deep Work, Rules for Focused Success in a Distracted World by Cal Newport. Cal Newport is a computer science professor at Georgetown, and whenever he talks about productivity, I listen, because he is a software engineer, he teaches computer science, and he's been there, he's done it, and he understands the distractions that software engineers face, and he also understands the necessity to engage in deep work to be able to be a truly successful software developer. So I'm sure many of you have heard of the concept of deep work and perhaps even tried to implement it in your life. But even so, reading this book is absolutely worth it because you'll not only understand the true difference between shallow work and deep work, but also understand how to implement certain strategies that will ensure that you consistently produce and enter into that flow state, sessions that are necessary for you to actually perform within your company, stand out, and be the best software engineer that you can be. So make sure you pick up this book. This is one of my favorite productivity books of all time and I think it perfectly applies to software engineering. It's incredibly practical, very easy to read and just a ton of fun. And now I wanted to leave you with my favorite quotes. The first one goes like this, who you are, what you think, feel and do, what you love is the sum of what you focus on. The second, efforts to deepen your focus will struggle if you don't simultaneously wean your mind from a dependence on distraction. This book is all about eliminating distractions and being as efficient as possible and prioritizing those important tasks. And the third quote I want to leave you. It's very practical about today's economy. It says two core abilities for thriving in the new economy. Number one, the ability to quickly master hard things. And number two, the ability to produce at an elite level in terms of both quality and speed. Enough said. Now for the soft skills section, I wanted to focus on the skill of negotiation. Negotiation is crucial for software engineers because for a lot of us, we're more interested in things than in people, sort of by temperament. That is kind of the reason why we're interested in software engineering. And being able to negotiate is not something that comes to us naturally. So it's a crucial skill that we must work hard to develop. I think it's one of the most high impact, high leverage skills that you can have to truly boost your software engineering career. So the book I wanted to recommend is called Getting to Yes, Negotiating Agreement Without Giving In. This book is by Roger Fisher, William Urry, and Bruce Patton. And this book was written a while ago, but it's old but gold. A lot of the principles that were written in the book definitely apply today and will help you focus on developing that negotiation skill. You see, when I was doing my bootcamp, my coding bootcamp last year, they really taught us during the last week to focus on negotiation and how important that is when it comes to not only finding a job, but being successful in your job. For example, one of the things they told us was that whenever you enter a salary negotiation in those first stages of getting a new job, your employer actually expects you to push that salary expectation even 10%. So there is a lot of wiggle room there. And this is something that none of us knew and actually found really surprising because if you're not willing to develop that negotiation skill, if you're not willing to push your desires forward and, and make your point heard and actually fight for that extra 10%, the employer is not going to give it to you. You have to fight for it. So develop 
developing the negotiation skills, absolutely crucial because I mean, who, who wants to leave that 10% on the table? And not only that, negotiation is also incredibly important within software development teams to be able to put your point across, to be able to negotiate new features, new things that you need to change about the code. And this book will also help you develop better professional relationships that will boost your career trajectory in a way that nothing else can. So I wanted to leave you with one of my favorite quotes from the book. It goes like this. Any method of negotiation may be fairly judged by three criteria. So whenever you enter a negotiation, even if you don't read the book, make sure you have these three criteria very present in your mind. Number one, it should produce a wise agreement if agreement is possible. Number two, it should be efficient. And number three, it should improve or at least not damage the relationship between the parties. That is a beautiful framework to have in your mind whenever you're entering a negotiation. But if you can read the book and you're interested, definitely go get it. And as a final bonus for the negotiation section, I want to recommend the book Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. This book has taken over the internet. I'm sure you've heard of it. Chris Voss is a former FBI hostage negotiator. And this book goes not only into many of the situations that he experienced as a hostage negotiator, but it gives you practical advice in terms of personal and professional applications where you can truly apply these teachings to improve your negotiation skills and achieve the goals and achieve your dreams. And this book also builds upon the knowledge and the teachings of the Getting to Yes book that we just recommended. But I wanted to recommend Getting to Yes first because it's a little more focused on the professional side of things, whereas Never Split the Difference also has a little bit more storytelling and a little bit more focus on the personal side as well. So if you're going to read one book, read Getting to Yes. But again, if you're interested in negotiation, I think it's something we should all be interested in. Pick both, read them. They're absolutely great reads. And if you like this video and you're a software engineer that wants to level up at work, increase their performance and be a lot more productive, make sure you check this video on the 10 essential productivity tips to succeed as a software engineer. I'm sure you're going to find that valuable. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one, amigos.